Do you know how to solve polynomial equations using the zero product principle? Let's take a look at how to do that. If we have a polynomial that looks like this, 18x squared minus 9x equals 0, we can solve this polynomial equation. How we're going to solve it, first of all, is we're going to factor out the greatest common monomial from this side of the polynomial. So first, let's look at the terms. Let's look at 18x squared and 9x. What is a common monomial in both of these terms? Well, we can take 9 out of 18, and we can take 9 out of 9. We can also take an x out of the first term and an x out of the second term. Let's take out the 9x. If we take that out of the first term, it's going to leave us with 2x minus 1 equals 0. Now we have two parts of the equation. We have 9x equals 0, and we have 2x minus 1 equals 0. Let's rewrite this as two equations. Let's start by writing 9x equals 0. And now let's write 2x minus 1 equals 0. We want to find the solution for x. We want to solve this polynomial equation for x. So let's start with 9x equals 0. We're going to divide both sides of this by 9 of the equation. These cancel. x is equal to 0. This is one possible solution for this polynomial equation. Now over here, we're going to add 1 to both sides. These cancel. Bring down the 2x. 2x equals 1. Divide both sides by 2. I have x is equal to 1 half. Here are the two possible solutions for this polynomial equation. Here's another one. 20x squared plus 5x equals 0. Now, again, we're going to factor out the greatest common monomial. A 5 can come out of the first term and out of the second, and an x can come out of the first term and out of the second, which leaves us with 4x plus 1 equals 0. Now I can have two parts of my equation. I can have 5x equals 0, and I have 4x plus 1 equals 0. Working in this way, I can find solutions for this polynomial equation. Divide both sides here by 5. These cancel, and I have x is equal to 0. Here I have take away 1, take away 1. These cancel. Bring down the 4x is equal to negative 1. Divide both sides by 4, and I have x is equal to a negative 1 fourth. Now I have solved the polynomial equation by using the zero product principle.